Hello all the aspirants out there. It's been quite a long since I posted my last video, but I'm back with a new video. So we are going to solve at least 20 questions uh, which were asked in Vipro exam. Without any delay, let's start our video. So even before directly solving the question, there are some points I'd like to share with you. Like all these questions which are uh, which I'm going to explain are the actual Vipro questions which were asked in the February, February slot. So and the second most important thing is the we can simply say that Vipro is the easiest exam because AMCAD will be conducting the exam and the, all the questions are of difficulty range of easy level, either easy or medium, mostly easy difficulty range. And the main intention behind making this video is like I would like to, I mean, I wanted to you guys to let you know the pattern and the kind of question which are going to be asked. So moving on to the first question guys so we are going to discuss uh, three kind of questions like uh, some verbal questions some logical and some aptitude questions so on the whole we are going to solve at least 20 questions in this video and now moving on to our very first question here comes like we need to fill the blank with the appropriate uh, prepositions so countries which blank still undergoing the economic process known as developing countries so the first most important thing uh, you need to do is to detect the tense of the sentence so if you observe the tense in the sentence, the countries which still undergoing the economic process. So this is the continuous tense, present continuous tense. So present continuous tense, uh, simply we can say that R should be used. Is, R, R should be used. But when to use is and R, if it is singular, uh, we need to use is and plural should be used with R. So countries is a plural word, R should be the countries which are still undergoing the economic process are known as because this is present continuous so option a is the correct answer so guys for each of the verbal question i'll be providing you with the grammatical explanation required grammatical explanation and if it is aptitude or logical i'll be solving the complete solution so moving on to the second question salim could not make it to the party as he to finish the assignment so i have already told you that we need to find the tense of the sentence like salim could not make it to the party uh, he was not able to attend the pa party because at that time he had some uh, assignment so he had to finish it like option b will be the correct answer so definitely ha he have to finish will not come because he she it will be followed by as or had so have is completely eliminated he went to finish is wrong so out of option a and b b is the suitable one because has comes in the present tense that's it for this question and moving on to the next question here comes the third one like she in Chennai in, uh, since she was eight so guys if you observe simply observe the tense it is present perfect continuous present perfect continuous so what actually it is like action started in the past action has started in the past and still continuing in the present this is called the present perfect continuous like she has been staying in Chennai since she was eight and one more hint I can you like uh, whenever since is used like mostly present perfect continuous will be used and here comes the fourth one the teacher whom we met yesterday is highly qualified and with very good reputation and we need to find the grammatical error the part of the sentence the teacher whom we met yesterday is perfect there is no error at all he is highly qualified and it sounds uh, normal no, no error at all and option c with a very good reputation either we can choose option c or d like no error or option c but if you observe uh, clearly the teacher whom we met yesterday is highly qualified and has a good way i mean has a very good reputation like uh, this can come in such a way but with very good reputation this uh, doesn't sound correct right option c is the correct answer and here comes fifth get out of the building it sounds like the generator is going to explode this is the underlined part we need to make the necessary changes so i can simply here give you one grammatical explanation like whenever he or she or it we use in the present tense we need to use v1 plus s like he drinks he drinks coffee like uh, if you use they they drink coffee you don't need to use s again but here it, uh, we encounter it E or she or it so sounds we need to it sounds like the generator is going to explode the so simply we can answer option B is the correct answer and guys actually there is an alternative answer like it is sounding like the generator is going to explode even option A is preferred like it is correct grammatically but option B is preferred over A 
and here comes synonyms and antonyms Vipro will definitely going to ask two antonyms and two synonyms at least so here comes the first synonym Vogue so whenever you hear the sound Vogue uh, people will remember like uh, Vogue magazine so basically the meaning of Vogue is like style latest style or fashion now easily you can remember the meaning of Vogue and next comes vent so if you consider a bottle or any balloon for example there is a balloon and there is a small hole out of this hole the air will be rushed outside like uh, this is called the vent a small opening through which something comes out vent and vogue are done antonym so petty so petty things we'll be hearing like uh, don't worry over petty things petty means silly so actually petty silly or small so whenever if you want if you are asked to find the antonym like some big or magnanimous these will be the antonyms and literal first of all uh, even if you want to answer antonym you need to know the meaning of it literal meaning exact or precise literally accurately like these are all the synonyms of the literal so by this you can select the option which is opposite to it like that way so sorry for you guys like uh, i did not uh, give the options for these questions just i wanted to let you know the kind of question um, antonyms and synonyms are asked and moving on to the next here comes the logical questions guys already i have already told you that Vipro will ask you the easy range of questions easy difficulty range so no need to worry at all like here comes the odd one out out of these four three will be similar one will be odd we need to find so the pattern here is deb deb so here the logic is and uh, after b we need to omit one letter like after the last letter we need to omit one letter and then we need to write the next two letters like b c will be omitted de and if you consider f g d after d E, we should get E but we need to omit E and then write the next two letters F and G like after N O should be omitted P Q will be in order after S T should be omitted U V should be get we, we will be getting U V S so option D is the correct answer because this is odd these three are following the same pattern B C is missed D E are written D E is uh, omitted F G is written that way and here comes the statement questions like uh, whether only a is sufficient or b is sufficient or both are not sufficient so these are the most common questions in reasoning part reasoning or logical part so there is this, like uh, there is a fixed way of solving it like we need to first of all read the question what is the area of top of the table so whether can we find the area of table table sorry by using these two statements like the first hint gives us that the top of the table is rectangular in shape okay top of the table is in rectangular shape it's fine and length of the table is 35 centimeters length is 35 centimeters so we have no clue about the breadth but can we find the area of a table with only length we cannot so option d is the correct both command will not give you the answer so here comes the next pattern like find the odd one out so here the logic will be if you observe carefully like a b c is missed we need to write d E F G is missed and omitted and H should be written. O P O P Q is omitted. R should be written here. R should be written. This is the answer. Let's look at the fourth option too. S T U should be omitted and V should be written. Guys, I hope you guys have understood the logic. If you have any kind of doubts, uh, simply you can comment. And here comes a blood relation type of question even this, these questions are very common in reasoning part or logical part so if you want to solve mainly uh, the most easiest technique will be uh, making a tree diagram like uh, we need to make a diagram a son b a is a parent there is a son b so i am uh, following the naming convention like plus indicates a male and minus indicates a female like a son b is married with c so b and c are couple okay C whose sister D is married to E. So C uh, D is the sister of C. So uh, they should be in, on the same level. Like uh, I am marking D as the sister of C is married to E. So definitely E should be plus. 
is married to E, the brother of B. So, B, uh, E is the brother of B. So, we, simply we can also make a diagram like A is the parent of E. Now, how is D related to A? So, easily we can simply mark that if A is a parent, either it's a father or a mother, no matter what, definitely D will be the daughter-in-law. So, here comes another question. So, guys, literally all these questions are asked in the same slot. Same slot. So, you can understand the importance of these kind of questions like finding the odd one out. I am again stressing that all these questions belong to same slot. C, phi, H. So, a number is inserted between two letters. We need to find the odd one out. If you first of all observe C. After C, D, E, F, G are omitted. H is written. E. E and L. So, if you observe the sequence like C and H, between C and H, four letters are missing. E Between E and L, six letters are missing. Between M and Q, only three letters. Between T and W, only two letters. But if we observe, like we are, we have to increase the number by one. Between C and H, four are missed. So, four plus one, five. E and L, six are missing. So, we need to mark plus one. Like here, seven should be come coming so m4 w is perfect and d3 t3 w is perfect option b is the right answer like odd one e7 l should be coming so moving on here we are having a series like 3 11 25 45 so guys the answer is if you observe 3 i'm adding plus 8 i get 11 i'm adding plus 8 plus how much should I add? 14. So 8 plus uh, 11 plus 14, I get 25. And I now I have to add like between 8 and 14, we are add, uh, increasing like 6. So now again I have to increase 6. 14 plus 6, 20. So now 25 plus 20, I get 45. Now again I have to increase 6, 26. 20, 45 plus 26, what do I get? 71. So option D is the correct answer, guys. And here comes arrangement question, seating arrangement related question. So even these are very common. Like there are five cars, five cars are parked in a row facing eastwards. So these kind of questions should be solved in a step by step process. Like you need to take the hints given. E is parked to the left of ABC. So if uh, if I consider some ABC in random order, E is to the left of all these three. Like E should be to the left of these. And C and A are parked to the left of D. So if I consider D somewhere, both C and A are on left of it. C comma A. These are the two clues I'm having. And C is parked between A and B. So option, this hint 3 I can written, uh, write as A, B. In between C I have written. This is perfect. And E is to the left of both A, B and C. Now I can make E somewhere here. And D is to the right of C and A. So both C and A are somewhere. D should be here somewhere. So now out of all these assumptions, only one assumption is still clueless. Like either B, uh, B, C, A should come or A, C, B should come. Now even that, that doubt will be cleared from the last hint. E, A, C, B, D. E, A, C, B, D. Is our present answer now if i consider this last option b is placed fourth from the left first second third fourth so this is perfect and now how far is a from the right one two three fourth position is the correct answer option c is the correct answer so guys simply you need to make assumption until you grow, go wrong this is the method of solving this kind of so here comes a property related question in a non pair what is the probability that the last day of the year starts with T. So non leap year 365 days can be written as 52 weeks. So plus extra one day. So that extra one day in order to start with T Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday somewhere in the starting. So there are two days out of seven days. Two by seven. Tuesday and Thursday. Option D is the correct. So moving on to the next aptitude question. In an annual sale, there was a discount of 40% on all the items. Wow, even we wanted to visit such sale, 
Kamal bought a pair of shoes at rupees 480. So what is the label price of the shoes? So here I am considering label price of shoe as X rupees X. So but we know that after allowing a discount of 40%, the price was at 480. He so he bought it at 480. So after allowing 40% discount of 40%, the rest is 60%. So 60% of the label price X is equals to 480. So X can be the value X is equals to 480 divided by 60%. 60 by 100. 100 comes to the top. So on solving this, we get 480 divided by 0.6. So 6 1s are 6 8s are 480 divided by 6. 800 is the right answer. Option A. So next comes some uh, basic work and time related question. Four men can do, uh, can repair a house in seven hours. So how many men can repair the same in two hours? So for these kind of questions, you just simply need to find the total uh, energy, like four men each working for uh, seven hours, like 28 units is required. So in total, to 28 units is required. Now here we are asked to repair the same house in two hours. So totally 28 units. So two hours of time, how many men are required? 14 men. Option B is the correct answer. So moving on to the next question, literally even these kind of questions are asked in Wipro. Like uh, you may be surprised such easy question, but yes, they are asked. 15C13, always NCR can also be written as NCN minus R. This is a formula. Like now 15C13 can be written as 15C2. The formula will be 15 factorial by n factorial by n minus r factorial into r factorial. 15 factorial divided by 2 factorial into 13 factorial. So now 15 factorial can be written as 13 factorial into 14 into 15, isn't it? So now 13, 13 cancel factorial, 14 into 15 divided by 2. Answer, final answer is 120. Now moving on here we are given the decimal representation of a binary representation. So express we need to express in decimal form. So 8421 is the decimal representation or 1632 64 so on. Now 10101 10101. So for all the bits which are respective bits which are one, I need to add the sum like 1 plus 4, 5, 5 plus 16. 21. 21 is the answer. That's it. 120 is the answer for this question. Moving on. So a basic simplification question. Uh, 144 raised to the power of minus 3 by 2 into minus 1 by 6. So simply this I can this can be solved like 144 can be expressed as 12 square. 12 square all to the power of minus 3 by 2 into minus 1 by 6. So minus into minus he gives us positive sign. So 3 by 2 into 1 by 6 I can write it as. 2 2 gets cancelled numerator and denominator. 3 1s are 3 2s are 1. So on the whole we are left with 12 to the power of 1 by 2. So we can write it as root 12 directly. Even root 12 can be more simplified as root 4 into 3. I am taking out for root 4 2 root 3. Final answer. So guys, this is the last question. So by this,